Yep, next to Namar Army Rock Show. Joining us for the very first time on the Rock Show, we have got Josh from Newcastle, Indiana band The Protest. They've got a new album due out on July 13th, available for pre-order now. Josh, welcome to the show. Rocky, thanks so much for having me, man. Stoked. Hey, I'm excited to get the chance to talk with you, and um, I'm sure you guys are real excited about the new release, so let's kind of start talking about it a little bit. Um, Tell me a little bit about the single. What else you got that's out now? Tell us the message behind that tune. Sure, man. Uh, So uh, we co-wrote that song with two amazing writers, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Josiah Prince, a a disciple, and then a great national songwriter named Jeremiah Jones. Um, You know, we were really wanting just a huge anthem. You know, I think in my mind, it's kind of got like a Def Leppard vibe to it, you know? You know, it's got the big drums, it's very sing-alongy. Um, but we love that. But first and foremost, I think I think what the song really means to us and what we hope uh, we, uh, uh, we get across to the listener is that just, you know, just keep your head up, man. I mean, we live in a world that is struggling, and there's so many things that are trying to break us down every single day so many stressors and this song is just a rallying cry you know to 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 keep your head up and fight back and stay strong in the face of adversity now there's a corresponding music video of course to that that just came out not too long ago so tell us a little bit about the making of that video yeah man uh so we filmed this video back in february and uh we were leaving for tour um in a couple days so we pretty much had one day to do it and we couldn't mess it up too bad so we so like we cleared out this big garage man full of semis and, and, and diesel trucks and all this stuff and uh, luckily we had a uh, a a wizard by the name of Adam Shoemaker uh, doing the video he's just an awesome visionary and he transformed this garage into a video space um, I will say it was probably like negative a hundred degrees in there so you can <laughs> see our breath in the video and it's not. It's not a cool effect. I wish it was. It's actually just <laughs> our breath. So, uh, but man, it was it was a blast. We spent all day in there. Uh, you know, dude. And once you get rocking a little bit, you know, I mean, that sweat starts pouring. It's not too bad. So, yeah, it was a it was a blast, man. We're we're super blessed and humbled to have people there helping us out. We had people blowing fans on our faces. We had people like pouring water bottles on the ground to make it look cool and wet. You know, all that good stuff. <laughs> Uh, I'm very impressed with the, the success of that song, and I, I noticed that uh, it charted not only on the mainstream rock, but also on the Billboard Christian chart, and you yes. seem to be a band that's crossed over pretty well into both markets, haven't you? Um, man, it's it's going pretty well. You know, it's hard to say. You know, it's still pretty early. Um, it, it it seems like it's, it's crossing over pretty well. You know, we're just praying and hoping that, uh, you know, uh, we continue to get our message of hope out there. You know, man, I mean, when it comes down to it, you know, music is a universal language that I think everybody can speak. So whether you're a Christian or not, man, you know, we want you to come to our shows, hang out, you know, rock out with us, throw down. You know, that's that's kind of the plan. And, dude, I mean, I would love, absolutely love to have more mainstream of success. It's been a, it's been a blast so far. Now, has your band kind of traditionally cut their teeth more on the Christian market side? Like, I mean, is that where your original fan base came from? Yeah, 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 man. Um, we've, you know, we uh, we don't necessarily like to label ourselves, you know, anything. But, you know, we are all, you know, followers of Christ, and we do want to reach people, you know. Um, so, yeah, we definitely cut our teeth um, in the Christian market, and um, a lot of our fans are kind of from that market. But the, the cool thing is about music, as I mentioned earlier, like, you know, over the last couple of years, you know, we've garnered a pretty decent, um, a mainstream following, and we hope this record uh, uh, continues to uh, grow that, my man. Now, I saw you guys had a pretty cool little festival run, a, something called City Rock Fest earlier. Tell yeah. us about that tour. Yeah, man. So, um, so City Rock Fest tour um, has some of the best Christian hard rock bands in the biz. Um, a Seven Day Slumber, Spoken. Uh, uh, Disciple, Wolf to the Gate, As We Ascend, a uh, Random Hero, um, and us. And uh, yeah, it was about a two month tour all over the uh, U.S. And uh, dude, it was it was a blast, man. I mean, we we met some of the coolest folks, dude, and just had an awesome time throwing down out there. We uh, it's it was seriously a really really cool thing for us. So I mentioned the the new record comes out on July 13th, and for your fans that are eagerly anticipating it, when they go back and listen to the Great Lengths record, how does this record compare to that one? Oh, man. Uh, You know, I think 
it's natural for every band because they're so biased, you know, for their new music. It's natural to say, oh man, you know, this new stuff's going to blow the old stuff out of the water. But I'm going to use that cliche and say that this new stuff is going to blow the old <laughs> stuff out of the water. Um, we are so happy with our first two records. Um, Great Lengths got us to, to kind of where we are now. And it, uh, we love that record. But I mean, you know, just. We've matured as songwriters, as human beings. You know, we we you know we co-wrote with some people. We, I mean, we're just better writers now. I think, I hope, <laughs> and uh, you know, I mean, man, we really, really spent some time into it. So I think every track on the record, we could not be more proud of, uh, and I hope that everyone else loves it and feels the same way. Now, I mentioned people can pre-order that record right now, and if they do, yes, they'll be able to pick up uh, another tune that's on there right now yeah. that is an interesting title called Noise Revolution. Noise so, Revolution. <laughs> yeah, tell me a little bit more about that song. Yeah, man. Uh, so, uh, what you'll find out from our band is, like, we're all about rallying cries. It's kind of our thing. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but, um, so, uh, this song, Noise Revolution, uh, we wrote with a guy in Nashville named Brian Hitt, um, and this tune, man, is just kind of like a, it's kind of just like a hard rock, pop rock banger. Um, you know, it's it's the huge anthem song, and you know, Noise Revolution is a is a definite like, hey, you know, young people of, of today, let's make a change, man. You know, we don't have to, you know, sit back and be all, you know, you know, just let everything happen. You know, you know, let's make a change and do this together. You know, so that's that's kind of the thought. Um, the thought behind Noise Revolution, and you know that could be the next single. Uh, I think it's got a very good chance at that. Um, of course, we'll have to have some discussions about you know uh, what the next single might be. But you know, uh, we love that song. Now, uh, for folks that don't know the history of your band a little bit, you guys go all the way back to high school, don't you? Yes, we do. High school sweethearts. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit of that formation and how the band like you know came together and made it so big. Sure, sure, man, dude. I'll, I tell you what, uh, I don't know. It's it, it, it is a god thing. I mean, you know, it's 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 crazy. So we pretty much all best friends in high school. Um, we we grew up, you know, listening to Kiss, ACDC, all that stuff. Man, I remember being on my bed with a broomstick, acting like I was Ace Freely, like rocking out so hard. And I, dude, I mean, I know this sounds so corny, but since day one, I just always wanted to play rock and roll music. You know, and I think I think the, uh, the other three guys in the band have too, and that's always been kind of our our common bond. Um, you know, we've had members come and go, but the four of us have been have been at it since 2009 um, together, and it's it's been an amazing ride, man. We've seen we've seen a lot of the world, all this country. I mean, it's been it's been awesome, dude. We're so blessed and humbled by everything that's happened, and you know, we're just hoping to you know. Uh, you continue doing it, man. You mentioned you've been all over the world, and I noticed that like you guys have actually toured overseas. Tell folks a little bit about how that went for you and where you've been. Yeah, man. So um, we play Germany uh, quite a bit now, and I, I tell you what, man, uh, those German folks, they love their rock and roll and metal, man. I mean, there was actually a group of people, they, they like, in the middle of the crowd, they started, like, sitting on the ground acting like they were rolling a giant viking ship <laughs> and i mean just crazy stuff like that i mean i mean mosh pits breaking out like every second i mean people just going so hard and you know it was it's always a blast we're always so so well received and so well taken care of over there you know we've i mean we've spent 19 hours in a turkish airport we've you know you know we've you know we've driven through the czech the czech republic playing a uh, plane in latvia this this fall you know um it's you know, so far in what little we've seen of Europe, we you know we we love it. You know, especially Germany, they are just 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 rock and roll people out there, man. So now, um, it, it looks like you guys kind of hail from somewhat of a rural area. Was it tough? <laughs> was it tough breaking onto the national scene coming from such a small area? Uh, yeah, man. I mean, like it's it's very funny that you mentioned that because as I look out my window, I see nothing but cornfields and you know, uh, and yes, we are definitely from the heartland. I mean, we are from like John Mellencamp, like you know, like Bruce Springsteen, Bob Seger, like that kind of heart, you know, just kind of that middle class, you know, working man's type of stuff. And uh, you know, that's kind of what we grew up and got our teeth on. And I tell you what, man, um, I think any success that 
that we've had, which is very modest, is it's all been like just amazing God thing. And people have really helped us out. We've had so many people kind of take us under their wing and, and either give us advice or, you know, um, you know, kind of show us the ropes. And, you know, I, I'd like to think that we have a really good work ethic. And just because we're from um, the middle of nowhere doesn't mean that uh, it has to stay that way. So, you know, we're trying to make as much noise as we can, and, you know. Um, and I, I think we've done a pretty decent job of doing that so far, you know, um, independently. And now with uh, a Rockfest Records and our new management company and all this, it's been, it's been a blast, man. It's been one heck of a ride so far. Well, we're rooting for you guys. The name of the band is The Protest. We've been talking with Josh. And again, the new uh, record, Legacies, due out on July 13th. You can pre-order it right now and get the two songs we're going to play for you tonight. So, um, hey, Josh, it's been good getting to know you a little bit. And uh, we'll be keeping an eye on you guys. All right. Hey, Rocky, thank you so much, my man.